Hi everyone, and this lesson is about how to conjugate the verb to love at the present of the indicative. Okay, so it will be, you know, to love, and then I will say, I love, you love, he, she, it loves, we love. We love, they love. Okay. So, uh, this is a verb called aimer. Le verbe aimer. A I M E R. Because this is not, uh, this is at the indicative that I uh, say that. So, j'aime, tu aimes, il aime, ou elle aime, nous aimons, vous aimez, il ou Elles aiment. Ou, this is or. Ou, this is o you. Which means or. O r in English. J'aime. Tu aimes. Il, elle aime. Nous aimons. Vous aimez. Il, or elle aime. So, you see the liaison. When I say elle aime, or il aime. There is a S at the end, because this is plural, I-L-S, or if this is a woman uh, plural, this is E-L-L-E-S. And the S, the final S, is going to be linked with the vowel E from M. That will make L them, il them. You cannot say il M. You can say il m or l m. You can do that if it's singular. Like j'aime, tu aimes il or l m. You can say il m, l m. But you cannot say that if this is a plural. Like nous aimons, vous aimez, il aime, elle aime. You cannot say just, you know, without to put the reason. This is normal um, because the, the s and the vowel. It can be another wall, in this case, this is a, are going to link together to form, like if it was, uh, like if it was the same word, but everybody knows this is two words. You know, let's make like singing words or something like that. It's them. It's, and you know, then the person knows how to write the things correctly. Then they have been using the plural. <laughs> I made it up for, uh, you know, people knows. Uh, they know how to write the plural, but when I hear, um, even in the all movies, all French movies, and uh, some people really use more liaisons than some of the liaisons, you know, the link, the liaisons, have been lost. Um, I think those people already knew what they were uh, uh, saying, and they already knew how to write the words. It's not like. Uh, you know, sometimes on the internet, you know, I don't know if it's because people really don't know how to, to write good, or it's because we see the internet doing that, you know, with uh, uh, going quick, uh, you know, uh, typos or anything. But um, I like uh, things written correctly. Um, I, in English, I make a lot of mistakes too, I know. Uh, but I'm trying not to make... Uh, uh, mistake in English, which I do all the time. I know it's, it's not my uh, native language. Uh, I know I will never uh, uh, speak English like uh, uh, native uh, English or native American, I mean, native speaking uh, English language do. I know it, but, you know, I'm trying. And the importance is to try, I think, also. So, uh, we go back to the French uh, uh, verb, aimer. J'aime, this is an apostrophe, you remember? They have uh, the uh, G apostrophe, what we call in French G apostrophe, then M. Um, then uh, when it's a second, like tu aimes, be careful because most of the time, actually, all the time, you have uh, a S. When is the second person of the singular, like tu, 
So they will have a S at the end of the verb. La tu m m will finish by a S, and you know that. Now, in English, you have the S for the third person of the singular, like uh, it, he, she. You know, for example, uh, it's. You will put a S. Well, in French, you will not. Not for the third person. We do that for the second person, like I said. So remember that. Uh, so after this is nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment. J'aime, tu aimes, il aime, or elle aime, nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment, elles aiment. I is for a person, which is masculine. She, uh, I mean, in French, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I, il. Is for a, a person that is masculine. She, so it will be elle, e l l e, will be for a person that is feminine. If you want to say it, you will only use the e or she. Because, uh, for example, a table for you, this is a it. Well, in French, a table, this is feminine. Because we say une table. La table. This is feminine. Now, if you say, for example, um, um, a pillow, it will be it for you. Well, in French, it will be uh, masculine because it will say un oreiller. L'oreiller. You see, this is a fact. It is un. Un. So, masculine. Um, because the oreiller is masculine, and uh, chaise, uh, chair, is uh, or uh, table, will be uh, a feminine. Uh, chaise, chair, and table, table, oreiller, uh, pillow. You know, you have to. It's very important that you know your masculine and your feminine when you learn a, a word, and that's why uh, when I give you a word, for example, if I say uh, a car, I will say voiture. I will uh, tell you this is une voiture, for example, because that you know if it's feminine or masculine. If you learn only a word, but you do not know if it's masculine or feminine, I mean, this is uh, not learning good, because there is plenty of things missing. After, to make a real sentence and uh, how to spell correctly, you will really know, need to know, if it's feminine or masculine. This is must. You need to know that. Okay? Um, it's going to be a little hard in the beginning uh, to, you know, to know which one are feminine, which one are masculine, but this is just something that you learn, you know, you learn by art, you memorize it, and after you practice, you practice, you practice, it's going to come, you know, uh, maybe naturally, maybe not as naturally uh, as for a French speaker, but Naturally enough, you know, it depends how uh, uh, often do you use uh, the, you will use the French language. It depends uh, how often you want to, to train yourself about it, you know, to make exercise or just uh, to speak to the people. Just, you know, for fact, you, you know, you, you don't need to talk to a real person. You can make like a dialogue, like if you are talking to someone, you know. Uh, just for uh, practice, uh, you don't need actually to really know someone and to talk to the person. You know, uh, how I did when I have been uh, learning English, you know, I was uh, learning at school, but I was uh, practicing a lot by myself, you know, and uh, I was recording me back then, you know, with those little taps, and I was recording me and I was, you know, listening again and i was listening what i was saying and trying to correct after my mistakes and stuff like that this is a good practice if you have the old tape you know like before you know um try to do that and to listen to you because when you talk like that finally you hear yourself but not you know you don't really pay attention sometimes of what you're saying when you really record you then oh you can record yourself with your telephone you know uh, with application on your phone and you record yourself and then you replay it 
and you say, oh, really, I have been saying that. I didn't think I was uh, uh, saying that. But you will see that sometimes what you really pronounce and what you hear after from playing the, the sound back, you know, your voice back, it can be very different. Okay, so one more time. J'aime, tu aimes, il aime, elle aime, nous aimons, vous aimez, ils aiment, elles aiment. And the verb, before it's conjugated, le verbe aimer, a i m e r Okay, letting you go with this uh, verb and um, enjoy. Bye-bye.